This is Nick. This is Jack. And this is Robin Hood Snacks. It is Thursday, October 1st. We're all about digestible financial news. Our first story today is Disney's Wounded Profit Puppies. Second story, we got Canada Goose K-shaped recovery look. For our first story, Jack, sad news in the Magic Kingdom, Disney laying off 28,000 workers. That's because COVID badly wounded Disney's profit puppies, especially the theme parks division. Yeah, Disney Anaheim closed. Disney Florida, Paris, Tokyo, Shanghai opened but at reduced capacity. You can look at Donald Duck, but you gotta stay six feet away from Goofy. It's a small world after all, should be it's six feet away after all. Basically a super spreader ride. Nick, I'm looking at Disney. The last time we covered this company, the stock was at $100, that was on May 7th. Jack, I'm looking at you, I remember, well, your beard was still coming in. That was before a second wave of COVID hit, and then we ended up watching Mulan like from home. That was also before Disney decided to push all of its movies to next year, because movie theaters just aren't gonna open. Dis Despite all of that, Disney stock is still up 25% since May 7th. Something does not fit here. So Jack, what's the takeaway for our buddies over at Disney? It's the Fed. It's been the Fed all along. The Fed is saving stock prices. Snackers, the Federal Reserve, the nation's central bank, they've promised to keep interest rates super low for like at least the next three years. And that makes bonds less attractive to invest in. The result is a huge migration of money away from bonds into stocks. And that is boosting stock prices overall. The S&P 500, which is the top 500 stocks, that's up 11% in the last quarter. So it's not a Disney thing, it's a Fed thing. It's been the Fed all along. The Fed. For our second story, Jack, you know Canada Goose from selling the $1,000 parkas. Stock just surged 8%. Nick, when you're wearing a Canada Goose, you look like you just got off a schooner that's coming from Iceland. Honestly, unofficial, official jacket of the Upper East Side. And every quad at every university campus. So Jack and I noticed that over the last three months, Canada Goose's stock is up 40%, not totally clear why. We think it has something to do with outdoor dining. Last Friday, Nick, the city of New York announced eating on the streets in outdoor cafes, that's not just a COVID summer thing. It's gonna be permanent. Jack, I was just in the city a few weeks ago. Did this on A Street. You're literally just sitting outside. They cover the whole street. You don't have any traffic. It's incredible. So in anticipation of a cold outdoor dining season, East Coasters are snatching up their Canada Goose parkas. Jon Snow wore a wolf. Gen Z wears Canada Goose. So Jack, what's the takeaway for our buddies over at Canada Goose? Canada Goose shows us everything we need to know about the K-shaped recovery. Basically, wealthy Americans, they're rebounding quickly from this recession. But less wealthy Americans, they might have just gotten laid off by Disneyland. You got the stock market up, but you got a job situation down. Those $1,000 Canada Goose parkas, those are keeping the upper leg of the K-shaped recovery warm this winter. One video, two stories, three minutes. That's today's Robin Hood Snacks. Snackers, let's make this consistent. Assistant, follow us at Robin Hood Snacks on Instagram. Or subscribe on YouTube at youtube.com slash Robin Hood app. Jack, you stay warm for me. Don't get cold out there. We'll see you guys tomorrow. See ya.